It's been 13 years since JW Studios first came to YouTube, and boy is it a glorious day for all you space fans out there. This day was said to be an historic event, the day a private organisation finally landed a spacecraft on the moon. A few months ago, SpaceX launched the Bereshit spacecraft, a late entry to the defunct Google X Prize by the Israeli-based private company SpaceIL. Unfortunately, this was not to be. The main engine malfunctioned, and the Bereshit crash landed on the moon. We had a failure in the spacecraft. We unfortunately have not managed to land successfully. We are the seventh country to orbit the moon and the fourth to reach the moon's surface. And uh, it's a tremendous achievement up to now. Well, we didn't make it, but we definitely tried. And I think that the achievement of getting to where we got is really tremendous. I never thought I'd say this, but I have very mixed views and emotions about this chain of events. On one hand, and I hate to say this, part of me is glad that it crashed. That's because whenever I think of Israel, the first thing that comes to mind is, well, massacring innocent Palestinians. For their crimes against humanity, the Israeli government doesn't deserve the bragging rights of being the first country to land privately on the moon. Which brings me to the other hand. Regardless of my disdain for the Israeli government, I need to keep reminding myself that the Israeli government had nothing to do with this mission. It was a private space mission by a private organization based in Israel. When a private space company fails, we the civilian population of this planet all fail. But if there was one good thing that Barashid has shown, it has shown what we, the civilian population, are capable of. No longer is the moon a venture purely for government space agencies. The moon is now the private sector's runway. Barashid and SpaceX have both shown that we can send probes to the moon and into lunar orbit without any assistance from government agencies. We, the civilian population, can do it all on our own. All that remains is landing on the moon. If at first you don't succeed, you try again. Many civilian organizations will follow in Barashid's footsteps. Somebody will eventually land a space probe privately. When that day comes, it will be a start of the new era. An era where we are no longer at the mercy of government agencies to explore the solar system. And it seems that day may be closer than we think. While Bereshit literally crashed and burned, its carrier company has taken the first steps. We didn't get a landing on the moon, but instead, SpaceX has accomplished their most crowning achievement yet. With the second launch of the Falcon Heavy, SpaceX has succeeded in landing all three first stage boosters to the surface of the Earth before the eyes of millions of civilians who attended the launch. Civilians no different to the ones who built this rocket. It is truly a giant leap for rocket reusability and a step closer to making space affordable to the average citizen. There is no doubt that private space exploration will lead us into the cosmos. And we at JW Studios will continue to keep you posted on this progress. Today is truly a lucky 13. Happy anniversary!